Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, I want to introduce you to a feature that I learned about today. It's existed for quite some time, but it's very interesting. It's about code templates. So if you type PSVM and we press tab, then PSVM expands to public static void main. If you type SOUT and we press tab, this expands to system out print line. No surprises there. However, Let's delete this. When we look inside of the code completion, I press control space and code completion pops up and there I see this exact same code template. So when I typed PSVM and I pressed tab and it expanded, the equivalent happened to when I now press enter on public static void main. This is exactly the same code template. However, it's also available in code completion. It wouldn't make sense if I were to press control space now and if I were to see public static void main again, because within a constructor, you can't make another constructor. However, what you can do is you can create a for loop. You can create a do statement, an if statement, um, a while loop. So these are available in the context of the method within which the cursor is currently found. Within the context of the class, a for loop, a while loop doesn't make sense. So you can see that code templates are available and code templates, you can see that it's a code template because of this special icon, um, like a speech bubble. Now a code template is therefore available in the code completion box, depending on the context in which you are calling up code completion. The question now is, can we create our own code template that also appears for a particular context in the code completion box. So that if we forget about our code template, we can just call up code completion via control space and then see that it's available and that we can use it in the context in which we're working. And the answer of course is yes. So let's um, create the starting point of a new code template. So here we have a little public static void main together with system on print line. And let's imagine that what we want to do is to be able to type PSVM SOUT and then press tab and then automatically that whole construction, the public static void main plus the system on print line is generated at the same time. Not only that, but we want that to be available when we press control space. We want to not only see public static void main, we want to see our own new PSVM SOUT code template. To do all of that, we go to the tools and to options to general, not to general, but to editor, and then to code templates. And you can see here we have our PSVM and it has an expanded text. So here's the abbreviation, here's what it will expand to, here's a description, which is empty, um, but there's also context. Now the context of this code template is class. And the only purpose of this tab is to specify in which context the code template will appear in the code completion box. So PSVM, you can see, only is available in the context of a class because nowhere else can you create a constructor. Or does it make sense to create a constructor? If you look at the while loops, you can see it's in a block context, it's in a case context, it's in an if, it's in a lambda expression. So particular context is where you would be able to expect to be able to generate a particular while loop. Now we'll create a new code template. We we'll call it PSVM SOUT. Click OK. And our expanded text is this. So I've just put the public static void main from my editor onto the clipboard and I've pressed Control V to paste it into this little editor space. Um, in addition, I'll put here a variable, which means when we press tab after the expansion, that our um, tab will, our cursor will land exactly here. So something, it's probably likely we want to change this to something different. So when you press tab after expansion, we'll end up directly there. We go to the context tab and we'll say, this makes sense only in the context of a class. And so we click okay. And now I remove the existing constructor. I press control space. And here we can see our PSVM SOUT. Now, maybe it's not enough information. We'd like it to be even clearer than that. So we can go back here and we can change the description. So we look for our PSVM 
is O U T in the list. And here it is, and we add a description. So constructor with a system out print line. That's exactly what we are getting here. So now when we press control space, we can see constructor with a system out print line. Now either we can type PSVM S O U T or we can now go to code completion, control space, and see the context, which is the class. As a result of that, we have our code template available in code completion. We can move down here with our, with our keyboard. So I'm moving with the up and down arrows here. Go to our code template, press enter, and there we have our code template has been expanded. And immediately the cursor is on that word, which is the variable. So now we can change it immediately to something different. That's it. The tip here is you can put your code templates into the code completion box. And in effect, what you're doing is you're expanding the code completion box. You're plugging into the code completion box simply by creating code templates and assigning a context, one or more contexts, depending on where the code template is relevant to the code template and then it appears in the code completion box magically um, for the context in which you've defined it. That's it, the tip. You can expand the code completion box for the Java editor. Thanks and have fun with NetBeans.